Yo, what is up YouTube? My name is Aaron and today I have a brand new live story for you. But before we get to that, let me go ahead and tell you about this game. We're playing Call of Duty Black Ops 3. This is Zombies Mode and the map name is Der Eisendrack. This is DLC 1 for any of you who would like to know. So let's get right into the live story. And this life story is the time I was caught hacking at a Starbucks. I know, before before we say anything, oh my gosh, Aaron, you were hacking at a Starbucks? No, I, I'm gonna go ahead and get that one out of the gate. I was not caught hacking at a Starbucks. However, I was accused of it, so that fits very well. So let's do how all the life stories start out. Let's go all the way back to the beginning and start from there. So the day was Friday, and I had a big project due, um, I think it was the following week or maybe a little bit longer than that, but I needed some time just to sit down, it was right after school, I needed some time to sit down and uh, work on this project. I just wanted to have complete focus, nothing else, just sit there and work. So I went to a Starbucks, free Wi-Fi for any of you who do not know. It's not like I couldn't have done it at home, it was just, I was at home and I just, I, I really wanted to work on it then. So that's that's where this stems from, if you want to know. So I was sitting there and my project was a C Sharp, if you're familiar with the programming language, C Sharp assignment where I had to make a test and uh, there was a ton of coding. I think I ended up having a little over a thousand lines of code, but um, I sit in there, right? I'm doing my work. I'm just coding, doing my thing, and I kind of look up and I notice that there's a few people looking at me, looking in kind of a puzzling look, and and then there was this one woman in the back that just had, it's it just, if you can imagine like that, that, that woman that's, let's say she's 50, and she Facebooks all the time, you can just tell that uh, she pokes and plays Farmville still, um, uh, just just get that, that image in your mind, yeah, that, that's who I'm talking about, that's her, mm-hmm. Yeah, you got that. So she's standing back there and she just has the grumpiest, just disgusted look. And I'm like, I got something in my teeth, man. Like, what's happening? Why is everyone staring at me, right? So I sit there and I just keep going. I keep I keep doing my thing. And next thing I know, um, I'm assuming the manager comes up and and the woman behind the the the, the, the Facebooker, the, the 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 Farmville poker behind that other group of people also came up with the manager but she was kind of in the back kind of just listening in poking in and um uh, the manager comes up to me and asks so uh what are you doing here today and i was like oh you know just uh working on some school stuff and he's like oh really so um we've had some complaints that um they might that people think that you're hacking over here and it's just the security terms and also if you know whenever you signed onto the wi-fi that you had to accept that you were not going to do anything malicious i'm going to have to ask you to stop and leave this place because we don't accept that here and i was like whoa 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. hacking i was hacking you say and uh, yeah it, it made me mad because I was just trying to get done with this project, man. And apparently, my lines of code just kind of alarmed someone. Someone watched Dateline NBC too much, getting hacked at the coffee shop, reading all the papers. Now you can't even program in public. How do you like that, people? You can't even program in public without people coming up. So I told them what it was. And you would think after I said, hey, I'm doing my work and I show you what I'm doing, they'd be like, oh, yeah, carry on. You do you, child. And it's like, no, I can see that it's upsetting other customers. So I'm going to have to ask you to stop doing that. Uh, you can still feel free to stay. I'm like, what? What? Why would I stay? Why? This is my purpose in here. There's no other purpose in me sitting in here other than to do this. What am I supposed to do? Just stare at the screen and be like, man, wish that project was done. Nope. I packed all my stuff out and hightailed it out, went back home, finished that project. In fact, I finished it that night. Ended up making a 98 in that project. If any of you want to know, yeah, I try hearted. I did it. Everything worked out great. And it, I mean, what an experience. So if you guys want to, uh, you know, at Starbucks this video and let them know what they're uh, 
their employees treat their customers like just just blind just yep you're hacking you're hacking son that's what it is <sighs> feel free to do that shed some light this way and also if you guys enjoy the live stories make sure to comment down below what you would like the next topic of next week's video is so all you have to do is comment uh let me give you an example uh don't comment this example because i do not have live stories for this but hey aaron do you have any stories involving a dump truck or uh, a, a computer monitor or something like that you guys be creative and if i look through the list and i can see someone that i'm like hey i have a live story for that i will put your comment in the next video so you will be able to see your name evan will love you just just balloons will rain down i think you even get a cookie via email you get an email cookie i don't know that one no strings attached on that one not putting my name to it that's something with uh the adidas firm at the uh youtube headquarters in um, Facebook, California. Uh, send your complaints there for your cookie, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I think I just realized that cookie part was a little bit cringy. A little bit cringy. I've always known that there is a fine line between humor and cringe, and I can't decipher which way that line goes. You guys let me know down below. Um, cringe 2017 if cringe, and just don't say anything if it's I... Because if it's I, you don't need to say anything, right? But this video was fun. I'm uh, having fun adhering to the schedule. Remember, Wednesday is going to be a free day. I think I have an awesome video that you're all going to enjoy. And it's a little bit different, but uh, bear with me. I think we can make this work. But for now, peace out.